Okay, everything we've been talking about before, about action potentials and neurons, has been um, really with unmyelinated axons, um, but you guys learned about myelin in anatomy. Um, so an unmyelinated axon has um, along the axon, it has voltage gated sodium channels lined up like tiny little dominoes so that the depolarization of one will affect the depolarization of the next. Um, and that allows for what we call continuous conduction in which one gets depolarized, which makes sure that the other one gets depolarized, which makes sure that the other one gets depolarized. But you've heard many times before that myelination on an axon will speed up transmission along the axon. What does it have to do with the story that we've been telling? Well, it's it's easy to put it together. So basically, we learned about this depolarization that goes continuously down an axon from the axon hillock all the way to the axon terminals. It is pretty much the same speed once it gets started. Um, but let's talk about how it works with myelination. So in a myelination, in a myelinated axon, which we're seeing in this figure right here, the action potential does what we call saltatory conduction. Saltar means to jump. Um, and it kind of looks like it's jumping, although to me it's actually diving. So here's what happens. Every place that is not myelinated, the axon hillock and all of these nodes, they used to call them nodes of Ranvier, they changed them in anatomy, they call them neurofibril nodes, but in phys they still call them nodes of Ranvier. All of those places have abundant voltage-gated sodium channels and also the other ones that are responsible for repolarization. But let's focus on the voltage-gated sodium channels. Underneath, in the myelinated portion, imagine that nothing can move. So myelinating is kind of like wrapping up the axon so that nothing actually moves from the intracellular fluid to the extracellular fluid. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have all of these voltage-gated sodium channels here and here and here and here and here, okay? And what I'm going to do is at the axon hillock and every node, what I will want to do is to create a large wave of depolarization because I've got a whole bunch of voltage-gated sodium channels letting in a whole bunch of voltage-gated sodium. And that's going to create a big depolarization. Think not just hit minus 55, but hit... Mm, almost zero or something. And since you depolarized it so massively there, that wave, that big wave of depolarization, it doesn't go through the cell membrane, but it basically is strong enough that you can feel it here. And if this one hits at least minus 55, you will open up all of the voltage-gated sodium channels there. And then it will scoop under and cause the next one to open at the next node, and then scoop under and cause the next one to open at the next node. So instead of having a, the metaphor I want to use is instead of having a bunch of little bitty dominoes right next to each other, you've got great big dominoes that are spaced so that if this one falls over, psh, it'll knock that one over, and this one will fall over and knock that one over because it's a big depolarization here. Nothing happens under the myelin, and then another big one. Okay, so it's going to go this direction. So um, the action potential is strong enough to activate each node in sequence as long as they are closer to one, as long as they're close to one another. So um, let's look at a video. This is generally faster than an action potential in an unmyelinated. Oops, hold on just a second. Oh, I lost it. There it is. Okay. So what's going to happen with this one is continuous action potential versus saltatory action potential. Snap, 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 snap. So that one shows it to you. And then we'll also watch this one. So she goes into some detail here and I've actually linked it for you. I don't want to turn on the, the sound, but you've got a myelinated um, axon specifically. So the cells are really insulating. So depolarization does not occur under the myelin sheath. You've got these nodes of Ranvier with a whole bunch of voltage-gated sodium channels on them. And then 
nothing happens under the myelin sheath, the nodes are going to go in order and it's going to look like it's jumping, saltatory conduction down the axon. So it propagates um, the action potential more quickly and it's also cheaper. There's less repolarization that has to go on. There's less ions that actually get um, moved from one um, place to the other. So um, that is saltatory conduction. The longer the axon is, the more likely you are going to have to do saltatory conduction to get things moving. Okay, and in the last video, we're going to do a couple of clinical connections that have to do with membrane potentials.